brand new trucks, earth moving machines, truck mounted mixer truck, and several orders still in the vessel arrived here at the Tinkan port in Lagos. Motor NGO Nigeria Limited is behind this massive investment in construction equipment into Nigeria. With origins in Africa, the company, which was founded in 1946, wants to make and retain a big presence in Nigeria. What a way to start for Morton Gil, the preferred bidder and winner of the Kano Maradi rail project, just as these equipments will be making their way to a site for the 390-kilometer railway line construction. It's not only one of the biggest shipments that was made uh, by Martin Gilles, but also one of the biggest shipments into machineries to arrive in, in Nigeria. Uh, first and, f and second, we have a lot of expertise, manpower, that have uh, uh, extensive experience in, in civil engineering. We already did a railway in Malawi, and we did there uh, around 100 kilometers of railway. We are not active only with railway, but with roads, with uh, dams, with uh, civil construction, so we basically tick all the, all the areas of, of civil engineering. For the road projects, Morten Gil says it has also won the concession and expansion of Lagos to Badagri Expressway, a 140-kilometer road with a $240 million investment. Uh, besides that, uh, we have a lot of other projects in the pipeline. We're also the runners-up for the fourth uh, mainland bridge. Okay, so. We are not the first, but the second, so we're there if need be. And uh, we, it's a, uh, I can see this, uh, this country, uh, it's the biggest economy in Africa, and I can see lots, lots of potential uh, investments and, and that we can do here. According to the company's officials, 80 tipper trucks, 90 earth moving machines, wheel loaders, backhoe loaders, crawler excavators, motor graders, pneumatic rollers, mobile cranes and many more are some of the equipment already brought in for works in Nigeria with several more to come.